Girl, when I saw Jafar and that big bird of his and that beard and that long face, I said, ooh. My body said, ooh. That was like actually my first sexual awakening, I feel. Jafar from Aladdin, shout out to you if you're watching this. Aloha Team Vogue, it's me, Bretman Rock, and these are some of my firsts. My very first YouTube video was when I thought I was a fashion icon, and I did, this was in eighth grade, and I did eight summer outfits with Brett. And the second one was when I was teaching people how to make flower crowns. I made this one tie-dye shirt, and I thought it was everything. It was like a pink and a blue tie-dye with a little jean moment. My very first makeup tutorial was actually my very first um, viral moment as well. It was when I was teaching people how to do contour. This was way back in 2016, March 23rd at 3 p.m. And it went viral two weeks after that. And then two more weeks after that, I went from 500K to 2.5 million. And I was like, damn, she famous or whatever. My first beauty inspiration would have to be my grandma. She was the only person I ever saw wear makeup. Um, I would always watch her get ready for church. And yeah, I would put her in stockings for her. And I still remember all the three lipstick shades that she had. She really got me into beauty. And like, I, that's when I fell in love with like women and like vanity and like, I don't know. I think that's why I love getting ready. It's cause like, I think the whole art of beauty is getting ready and getting beautiful. It's not YouTube, but my sister and I was bored one day when I was in sixth grade and they had a kids pop audition. And my sister and I sang Pyramids by Cherise Peng Pengo in our room. And that got 53 views because I made all my cousins watch it. And I felt real famous. When Instagram took down my account, I remember I was at cross country practice. I had my phone with me and I was trying to check my notification because you know I was famous and things of that nature. And it says, you have been locked out and I ran back home during tra like literally cross country practice. I still had like my bags. I ran back home, called everyone I knew. I still don't know. I think I got hacked, but honestly, I do think I made like an inappropriate video, but nothing was taken down when I got it back. I didn't have my Instagram for 43 hours. I do remember the first time a fan came up to me and asked for a picture. Her name was Chelsea at the movie theater. I had 10K followers. This was during summer of 2016. And I had gone to watch some Filipino movie. And then she comes up to me and she's like, oh my God, Brevin, like, I love watching your videos. And I was like, oh my God, like these fans are like, oh God. I was so overwhelmed that day. Shout out to Chelsea if you're watching this. Hey, Chelsea. My first clapback wasn't really a clapback. I remember I was at Long's Drugs and then this little kid had asked his mom, it was a boy, it was a little boy, and then he goes, mom, is that a boy or a girl? And I just like made a face, I went, and he scurried. He was just my face, making ugly faces at little kids. But I do that all the time, even if the kids are just staring at me. Shout out to my haters. Sorry that you couldn't phase me, cause you're three. My very first athletic competition was probably fifth grade volleyball. We didn't have positions at the time, but in my world, I was the libero. Oh girl, I did soccer, a little bit of football for one week. I hated it. Track, basically my whole entire life, cross country. Is dance a sport? I did dance cause my cause I was like one of the only openly gay kids in middle school. And obviously if you're gay, you have to dance. My very first Instagram post. I don't remember cause I think at the time I didn't know that Instagram was a social media thing. I thought it was a edit, uh, to edit pictures in and I would just like post like random shit. I don't know my first Instagram post. It would have to be like a selfie of some sort. I remember it was like during Tumblr days when I made an Instagram. But the one that's on my Instagram right now, cause I think I've deleted it, the my actual first one, but the one on my Instagram is me eating um, a tree bug from the Philippines. If you scroll all the way down, that's my very first video. It's called Aros Aros. You guys should try it. My very first big splurge. Girl, I low-key didn't have the money for it at the time. So I got this big ass Versace bag. It was so big. It was like a luggage. It looks like um a duffel bag. That's how big it was. It's not cute. The salesman was really good selling it to me, honestly. My first red carpet is kind of iconic. It was Miss Universe 2017. I had gone back home in the Philippines and I actually hosted the red carpet at Miss Universe. And imagine being there first time at red carpet, you're hosting it and it's for Miss Universe. Like what? My first time attending fashion week was last year fall. 
of 2019. I low-key killed it and I cannot wait to go this year. My favorite part about Fashion Week, I just love getting ready. I love getting cute. I love getting glammed. And my second favorite part would have to be like getting my pictures taken in the streets of New York City. And I just feel very important and I love feeling important. Um, it would have to be in the Philippines. Fireworks are really big in the Philippines and we pop fireworks even at Christmas. Oh my god, this story is gonna be so long, but I set the house next to us on fire, like a part of it. So I think that's my very first and like traumatizing Christmas memory. Were the neighbors upset? No, because my neighbors were my auntie. But then we had Noche Buena after, so like, you know, I was a kid, like, what doesn't kill you make you stronger. And you can only learn from your mistakes. And I, that was the last and first house that I threw on fire, you know what I mean? My sister and I has always been, like, she's always been, like, my backup. She's always been my co-star. She's always been my supporting actress at everything I've always done. So, when we were kids, we would always, like, choreograph <laughs> Her and I would always make, like, fake commercials on my mom's phone and use up all her memory. So it would have to just be like me and my sister bored and like just filming ourselves. I think my sister and I has always wanted to be or felt like we wanted to be in front of the camera. Oh my god, that just made me sad. But I don't get sad. What was the first time you felt like a role model? All I heard was model and I've always felt like I was a model. But as a role model, I still don't really see myself as a role model. Whenever kids come up to me and they're like, oh, I'm a fan. And then there's really kids that come up to me. They're like, they're, I want to be like you. And I'm like, what? Like, why would you want to be like me? My first time falling in love was probably the first time I watched Aladdin, but not Aladdin. He's street rat. No. Girl, when I saw Jafar and that big bird of his and that beard and that long face, I said, ooh. My body said, ooh. That was like actually my first sexual awakening, I feel. Jafar from Aladdin, shout out to you if you're watching this. People used to think I look like Pia Mia. So then in my class performance, cause we would always um, do like homecoming dance and I had to do it cause I was in student console. And at the time I was also like, you know, coming up and people always thought I looked like Pia Mia. I'm like, girl, I'm cuter. So then I just kind of like went to school. I did the school performance as Pia Mia and people lived. All right, Team Vogue, it was nice to nice to know ya. <laughs> All right, Team Vogue, thank you so much for watching. I had a fun time. Comment down below if you guys want to see more videos of me. I probably won't. Love you guys. See me on the next cover. <laughs>